So I've been seeing these trends on TikTok um, of like TikTok accounts that report on people's deaths, but particularly young people's deaths. Not just young, but secondary level kids. Uh, heartbreaking stories. I remember at one point I had compiled almost 20 to something cases or something like that. I just can't remember like... Like I told you guys, I do a lot of research stories and stuff and maybe I'll compile a story and end up not doing it or I'll compile a story thinking maybe I'll put it in another episode as a subtopic or something along those lines. But this particular story I never actually did. But I just recently saw another post that actually reminded me of this subject or it kind of reminded me of these stories. Uh... And it was the story of this young man here by the name of Deboho, uh, who, as you can see on the title, was stabbed on the neck um, by his friend. You know? And I think, I, I just saw it, but I don't think it just happened. I'm not sure if you do know, you can tell us down in the comment section. And so I saw this, this kid's story about him being stabbed and it reminded me of this subject now there's a bible verse that i want to read which kind of tell us about the time in which we live or where we are right now in this time and period and so yeah I'll keep a lot of these parents in prayer because losing a child it's a it must be a very difficult thing you know you you grow thinking you know your kids are going to bury you and so to lose a child with full potential it must be something uh very heartbreaking but also it tells you why salvation is time what that's why the bible says salvation's time is now it doesn't say you know you'll receive jesus when you're older or something it's something that you receive now because you do not know what when you know like i look back at my life when i was in high school i was very reckless you know we used to go partying in Yeovil, a story of a different day, like Yeovil in the period of the mid 2000s, like 2006, 7, 8, was very dangerous. Those were the days when they used to steal, they would rob you even your jeans. And those were the days we would be walking up and down hill, bro, going between clubs and stuff. It was very dangerous stuff. But when I look back at it, I was like, what was I doing? So that's why salvation's call it's not another day it's not thing now for those that might have not noticed it i think i saw it first last year before i talk about this uh this kid here like i said i couldn't remember all of the stories uh you guys remember this this story of this couple here the guy stepped the girl i think there was a video that even went viral it was about last year ending of last year if you remember she was a student, actually, it was said. Then last year, also uh, towards mid last year, there was a story of this kid who was a grade 11, who was also stabbed, as you can see in the title or in the, in the, in the subtitle that is put over in there. Uh, and then this particular story that I'm saying that I just saw right now, I think it happened around February. I'm not sure February, March or so. You can correct me if you do know of Debo Hobinista, also by a friend. Then there was a situation in the University of Limpopo and uh, here this was a, this was just a vigil uh, and uh, I don't know if the student had left the, the, the premises and something happened right outside and you, if you check in the comments of this video they, you see other students saying you know I don't even go out uh, at, at certain times because it gets very dangerous outside. Then I saw this one. This is the one that I really remember vividly because I was actually just searching for it because I could find other stories, but I couldn't see this one. But I remember this one very vividly. These other stories, I, that's why I'm trying to recollect where I was searching my screenshots. Um, I, was, I was in my screenshots trying to find in my screenshots because I know that that's how I had saved them. Uh, I don't know if I had created a group for them or what. 
uh, but I couldn't remember how I had saved the stories. There was more than 20 that I remember. Most of them in this year. More than 20. This one was very vivid in my mind. It was also this year. And then there was the story of this young girl. Some of these people, some of these kids, it was the pressures of metric or metric results. Uh, some, I don't know if it was bullying. Uh, there's a case of four uh, people within a very short time span. I remember this one. I think it was around May or something like that. And so I saw this one as well. Of Alehako this year as well and then this one it's a very tragic one these are kids and he they said he was stabbed and so this one i was just not sure but i did see thing it but if you did see the story you can confirm what the story was around this kid from bedford uh, bedford yeah i just don't want to repeat it here so if you do know you can you can tell us down in the comment section but this child also, uh, this case, also from this year. And this one here, this uh, is another one that I could remember very vividly. In April, May, I remember this is when I had been compiling some of these stories. Because it was roughly around the same time when this story had just happened. I remember even the guy who, who did the shoe brand with, Casper uh, had gone to one of the schools and stuff like that to kind of talk to these kids. And so you can see how this happened. I can't say these words on YouTube. Uh, it will cause an issue. Right? And so, and yeah, this is the name of the school for students. Roughly around the same time. Now, if you can remember this one also, it was a very terrible story. I just can't remember why. So if you can remember the why factor, of why this kid's uh, thingy, you can please tell us down in the comment section. But I'd completely forgotten about the why for all of them. Then there was a story of this young kid as well, also this year, Junior. Uh, I remember seeing at one point, but also the last story was of this one here. I could also remember this one because uh, there was a dancing video that went uh, viral of him and then later on you heard that he had passed and so forth. You know, there's a lot of pressures that kids have nowadays, but also, you know, um, and I'm not talking about, I'm, 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 that's why I'm, I'm not adding the other stories from outside. There was a story of those kids that were fighting in the field and the other one hit the head on the thing. She did turn out to be fine later on. But a small fight where she... She had to defend herself, ended up in that particular situation. Uh, but it just kind of tells you the, the scenarios or the kind of like the life in which we are in right now. This is how the Bible actually describes this period in in the book of Second Timothy chapter number 3. It says, understand this, that in the last days, terrible times will come. Men shall become lovers of themselves. Like one of those kids was killed because he, he refused to give up his head. His head. Refused to give up his head. Men will become lovers of themselves. Lovers of money. How many situations do we have of that? You know, the, the Jocelyn case is an example of that. A child got one missing given over to a potentially money rituals and a sangoma is involved in it and whatnot. Lovers of money, boastful, arrogant, abusive, uh, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, unloving, unforgiven, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, and with, uh, without love for good. So they do not love what, is, what appears as good. They have a hatred towards thinking. Uh, it, it reminds you of, of a story, I think uh, two years ago, there was a story in Limpopo of such a kind. Uh, the other girl was jealous of the other girl because the other girl was doing well. She wrote a letter and then the girl went in. She said, you know what? 
you can't hate me for this, you know? And um, so there's this thing. And in Nimbabwe, the there's a lot of them. Oh, around South Africa, as a matter of fact, there's a lot of this particular case. That's like I said, I can't even recall all of them. First thing that you'll note is teaching a child situational awareness. It's a very important thing. The, uh, let me put it in simple terms. Situational awareness, I mean their environment or seeing their environment or the place they are in. You know? To say, once you see this, 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 get out of there. Don't stay there. There are, play, there are people that had vowed to just defend themselves. You know, I'm going to defend myself. But little do they know that that defense will just land, will, will end with. Last year, I lost someone that I knew who went to the same church, the same church I got born again in. And I wanted to talk about it, but I ended up not. Because I, I had not. I had not covered all the sub, all the points that I wanted to to, to think for me to cover it, so I just ended up not doing the story. Uh, he was a bolt driver in the Hebrew and Yuval in environment, and so when he went into a different, I think he was in Yuval, and when he was there, they they just came up. These boys came up to him, and they attacked him for a phone because you remember a bolt, they use a phone, so they attacked him for a phone. And whatever happened in the in the, in between that, he lost his life. And um, he was a pastor back when we were in church. Uh, when when I just gotten born again, uh, he was already part of the youth. He used to do a lot of youth stuff and and all that kind of stuff. He was a leader of one of the youth groups, and uh, and stuff. And so, he later on, became a pastor. Yeah, that's how he died, just like that. Just a phone. You know, we live in such an environment, situational awareness is such an important thing to be aware of a situation. But also sometimes, even as far uh, prepared as one can be, someone, you just don't know how you would be when you are startled. You know, you might resist, not because you want to resist, but you might resist because when that Fear steps in. You just don't know how you might behave. Sometimes you'll, see, you'll blame the person. Why did you fight for a phone? It's not necessarily that the person is fighting for a phone. But because they are not. They have never been in a situation. Where they've had to defend anything. When that thing arises. That's just the, the first thing that arises out of them. Situational awareness. It's a very important thing. But also when you read this verse. And you see what kind of people, without self-control, brutal. When the verse says people will be will be very brutal in nature. These are kids in high school, stabbing each other and whatnot and all this kind of stuff. Uh, the little boy story, that's why I'm not even repeating because they said that he was stabbed by another student. And so that's why I just didn't want to repeat that because I was not sure exactly. I'm not sure. Y'all can confirm down in the comment section. We live in a very terrible time. But also as a young person, it's important to understand why giving your life to Jesus doesn't have a time. To say, oh no, I'll do it later. You don't know tomorrow. You know, some of us, we look back and we're like, Jesus Christ, I survived that. Now someone, you might think, like when I remember when I made the video about the yacht, the, the tavern that kids went to celebrate something and then um, there was a stampede and kids died. You'll remember, if you remember that video, I mentioned something in that video. I mentioned there might have been a child there that, did, that was not like that. Didn't party, didn't do nothing. They just wanted this one time to celebrate. And in the course of them, this one time, wanting to celebrate this one time, led to them passing. You just don't know tomorrow you just don't know what's going to happen you step out right now you just don't know what's going to happen so salvation doesn't have a time now it's the time for it 
I'd advise you watch the video that I made on Casper in your vest. Why do we get saved? I think that video is very important to understanding that because some people just don't understand that. We live in such a time where you have to be very much aware of where you are. You know, it's a very scary world we live in. You know, we're just thankful that we have one more day to be able to speak of the goodness of God. And the, the good by the goodness of God, we don't mean, oh yeah, the goodness of God, I survived and I'm here today. Okay, we're not trying to make a statement about those that lost their lives, right? So I've warned about that. If you watch the Ralu Khalela video that I made, I spoke about that. You know, Christians sometimes, we, we tend to be a bit reckless in that. You know, we think of, because you survived, because, you know, somehow, because you, you have... No, it's not that. We're just thankful that we have today so we may fulfill the purpose of God upon our life, which is that people should hear the gospel. You don't know what tomorrow looks like. That alone should be word enough. You do not know what the next minute looks like. You don't know what the next 10 minutes looks like. There's no better time for salvation than right now. You listen to the black 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 um black coffee story. It's, it's quite an interesting story, honestly. That's why I keep referencing to it. Because Black Black Coffee says uh, he wasn't even praying for to survive the accident. He says his prayer was that was to find himself in God's presence. You know, and he thought he would have this value for life when he get out of that accident. And he says he just didn't feel it. He didn't feel like he had. He had it. He felt like he had gained something when he escaped the accident. But then a week, two weeks later, he feels like, I feel empty. I feel like I should have gotten something. That was a very powerful testimony. The way he put that, you, that's why I said, you can't fake that. You know, you cannot fake that. We must be very much aware of where we are. It's very important. It's very important to be aware of where you are. You are in that period where the Bible calls the end of time. End of time, meaning this plane in which we live in, has a particular time frame. Tomorrow, not guaranteed. It's Ricky. Other videos done today will be down in the pinned comment. And I'll see you later. You can confirm for me the other stories which I was not sure about down there. But yeah, I'll pray for this for these parents, you know. It's quite a, a difficult the the story of the ZCC mother, you know, they just went to fetch water. You know, boom, when she comes back, she almost lost her daughter and son. But her son unfortunately thing. Siriki, and I hope this video does find you well. Yeah, think on that and also keep these people in prayer. And I'll see you on a later on episode.